Apple has just killed Intel again by announcing three new chips, a brand new color for the updated MacBook Pro and an updated 24-inch iMac. And here's everything that you need to know that had Apple saying this to other chip manufacturers. Game over! So there are three new chipsets, which is the M3, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max. Now as expected, this will have performance per watt as the focus. It is all built in the latest 3NM process, which is a crazy leap considering the fact that Intel's latest 14th gen series is still using a 7NM process, and even the previous Apple M2 chips is using 5NM process. Now the main focus for the M3 family as a whole is that this round is more towards the graphics or the GPU capabilities of the new chips. Now the GPU will have dynamic caching which is the new Apple silicon architecture process. Now in a nutshell, it's supposed to move processing from software to hardware. Now this is also true for their mesh shading and ray tracing which in combination will increase the performance up to 2.5 times faster than the M1 chips. Now on the CPU side as expected, all of this will also have a performance bump, which will be up to 30% faster performance cost and 50% faster efficiency cost. Now the enhanced neural engine will also be up to 60% faster, which <laughs> that's already quite a lot. And all of this increase of performance is all done using only half of the power of the M1 chip. Now for you spec nerds out there, the baseline M3 chip has a single variant where there are 8 CPU cores, 4 performance and 4 efficiency core. The GPU is a 10 core unit and you can pair this chip with either 8, 16 or 24 gigabytes of unified memory and you can max out the storage up to 2 terabytes. And this is only available for the 14-inch MacBook Pro as there's no 16-inch variant for the baseline M3 chip MacBook Pro. Now there are two variants of the M3 Pro chip, one with 11 core CPU and 14 core GPU and the other is a 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU unit. Now unified memories come with either 18 gigabytes or 36 gigabytes and you can configure up to 4 terabytes of storage. Now if you're a power user, power of the dark side. The new M3 Max chip comes with two flavors, one with the 14 core CPU and 30 core GPU. Now this comes with either 36 or 96 gigabytes of unified memory and it can go up to 8 terabytes of storage. Now if you think that is not enough of power, well the second variant comes with a 16 core CPU and a freaking 40 core GPU. And what's even more mind blowing is that the unified memory comes with either 48 64 or a whopping 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Now that on a laptop is <laughs> madness, I have to say. And yes, you can configure up to 8 terabytes of storage over here as well. Now all of these chips will come with a 16 core neural engine, so that simplifies things a little bit. So that is the M3 chips. Now I have left our community Discord link down below, so you can talk about the new chips and the product announcements together. So I'll see you guys over there. Now talking about the new product announcements, there will be just two new Apple products that will be using these new chipsets, which are the MacBook Pro lineup mentioned and the new iMacs. Now before I talk about the new iMacs, Apple has also introduced a brand new color on the MacBook Pro, which is space black. Now the good news is that they promise that it is resistant to fingerprints, which is always a worry for matte black users or any colors, which has a more matte color finish. Now why Apple would specifically mention this? Because the midnight MacBook Air, all looking really slick but it did attract a lot of fingerprints. But worth mentioning is that this space black color is only available for the M3 Pro and the M3 Max MacBook Pro, where else the baseline M3 MacBook Pro will only have the option of either space grey or silver as per usual. So if you're looking for a 14-inch MacBook, you can either get the M3, the M3 Pro or the M3 Max chip inside, where the price starts at 7499 ringgit onwards. Then the 16-inch MacBook Pro will either come with the M3 Pro or the M3 Max chipset, with prices starting at 11,999 ringgit onwards. Now just rounding up the laptop spec similar to the previous MacBook Pro, it will come with a liquid Retina XDR display, a six speaker sound system with spatial audio, Thunderbolt 4 and an SD card reader and support for four external displays up to 22 hours of battery life. Now that is enough battery life to outlast a vampire's day or oh, night. But no official word on when exactly it's going to be available here in Malaysia. But what is readily available though is the written version of this video where if you need a recap, you can head down to our website at www.adamlobo.tv to refresh your memory. 
Now, for the new IMAX, there'll be seven options available similar to the previous generation, so no new colors over here. Well, I never had an iMac before, so if I really had to choose for me, the purple color is the sexiest. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. So Apple keeps mentioning about how much is better than the Intel chip, which is obviously true. And I think that this is really targeted for those who is using the Intel variant of the iMac to jump into the Apple Silicon bandwagon. Now speaking of the chip, the iMac will only come with the M3 chip, so no M3 Pro or M3 Max for this iMac, which makes sense for the target market of this 24-inch iMac. Now you can get it up to 24GB of unified memory and 2TB of storage with the CPU and GPU maxed out at 8 and 10 respectively. Now the display is a 24-inch retina display like before. Inside is a Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3 and up to 4 USB-C ports with 2 Thunderbolt ports and also support for Gigabit Ethernet on specific models. Now the FaceTime camera is at 1080p and of course it comes with color match accessories as well. Now there's no word whether or not these peripherals will be changing to USB-C like the Magic Trackpad or the keyboard or even the Magic Mouse. But we shall see once I get my hands on it and unbox it. So there are two variants of the iMac that will be available. The 8-core GPU iMac will start at 6,299 ringgit and the 10-core GPU iMac will start at 7,299 ringgit. So yeah, this is quite an appealing package for someone who wants a modern all-in-one system with very minimal clutter. So that's it. Those are the highlights on the latest Apple's Carry Fast event. Now tell me, which one of these products excites you the most? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a review once I get my hands on these devices. So subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so.